The Tory leadership race is down to the final two. Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss have qualified for the runoff and will now battle it out to woo the grassroots Conservative members. As returning officer, I can give you the results of the ballot. Uh, 357 votes were cast out of a possible 358. There were two spoiled ballot papers. The numbers of votes cast for each candidate is as follows. Uh, Mordant, 105. Sunak, 137. Truss, 113. Therefore, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss will be the candidates going forward to a final ballot of Conservative Party members. What started out as a race with 11 contenders has been whittled down to the final two. Penny Madot, who maintained a lead over trust in almost all votes, has been knocked off in the fifth ballot. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss thanked the MPs for trusting her and says she is ready to hit the ground from day one. Over the summer, nearly 160,000 of, of the Tory members across the UK will vote for the next party chief, who will then replace Boris Johnson as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. The Conservative Party's website, website saying members will receive their ballot papers between the 1st and 5th of August. The members can cast their ballots either via post or online. The deadline for voting has been set to the 2nd of September, and the results of the Tory election are expected to be out on the 5th of September. In the next few weeks, the final two will likely take part in multiple debates and hold programs across the country to make their case as the party leader. Meanwhile, the Labour Party earlier today called Johnson out on the last few debates being cancelled, in a response to which the caretaker PM said he is not really tracking the competition. I think the message coming out of this leadership contest is pretty clear. They got us into this mess and they've no idea how to get us out of it. The Foreign Secretary says we can't go on with our current economic policy. The member for Portsmouth North bemoaned the fact that what we've been doing has not been good enough. And the member for Saffron Walden probably puts it best when she simply asked, why should the public trust us? We haven't exactly covered ourselves in glory. Their words, their future leaders' words. Mr. Speaker, I, 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 I'm not following this thing particularly closely, but my, 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 impression, my impression is that there's been a quite a lot of debate already. And I think the public, I think the public are, are having, they're having an ample opportunity to view the talent, uh, Mr. Speaker. That any, one of, any one of which, any one of which, as I say before, like some household detergent, would wipe the floor. Uh, with the, we are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.